The deadly bus crash in Mountain Province not only cost lives, but also the dreams of creative geniuses who use their talents to push for their advocacies, <clears throat> excuse me, for peace and pressing social issues. But with loss comes hope and a promise to continue the legacy of the fallen artists. David Santos filed this report. Along with this ill-fated Florida bus that plunged into a mountain province ravine were dreams of a number of artists that were also crushed like mangled metal. Andrew David Sikam, 35, is a Davaweno band leader and seasoned traveler. He brought along his family to the trip because he wanted to give his youngest son a unique birthday experience in Kalinga. A family man, so he has a very very, what they call this, pleasant disposition about life because he's an artist, very firm when he talks. The Sikams, according to David's aunt Feli, is a huge clan of creative artists. Besides playing cultural music, David is also known for different advocacies, including one that he shared with the military. In May last year, David was among the more than 30 visual artists that took part in what was deemed the world's longest peace mural. The artists, along with thousands of volunteers, painted a close to four-kilometer wall of Camp Aguinaldo with messages of peace and security, especially for conflict-torn communities in the country. Kinikilala namin yon bilang advokasya namin na panatiliin natin na mapayapa ang ating bansa at yung aming mga partners na siyang naging bahagi upang may sakatuparan ito ay pinapasalamatan natin at uh, ito ang dahilan kung bakit wina-welcome namin ang uh, aming uh, kapatid na si David dito sa aming kampo. In Marikina, fans and friends of Arvin Jimenez, more fondly known as Tado, pay tribute to one they call a simple man with a big heart. For his fellow actors, Jimenez had a unique sense of humor. Behind his playful image, frail, long hair, and oversized glasses, Jimenez, his friends say, was in a class of his own. Kung gano'n siya kaliit, kapayat at tao na lalaki, pero yung fighting spirit niya siguro mga 20 times ang laki sa, sa pagkatao niya. Kasi si Tado, sobrang simple yan eh. Hindi mo makikitaan ng kakimehan sa, kung baka cowboy siya eh, kahit sa mudalin, talagang... Jimenez's close friend, comedian, and magician Jeffrey Tam now treasures a photo of them together taken during a chance meeting in a party early this month. But Jimenez was more than a regular actor. Like Sikam, he was also an advocate of pressing social issues. He was traveling to the north as part of a green project. Their family is handling their loss well, but they are also requesting for privacy to mourn. If there's one thing about Tado and Leia, they've raised their children very well. So yung mga bata naman, um, they're okay, they know the situation, and they're dealing with it um, well. The families of both fallen artists want to ensure that their loved ones did not die in vain. The Sikams vow to seek justice over the tragedy, while Jimenez's co-advocates wish to put a deeper meaning into their debts. Of course, there's nothing left to do but just move on. Um, there's so much to be done. Eh. One of Tado's advocacy talaga is road safety. So napaka-injustice kung wala kaming gawin sa case na to. Compensate the grief of the family. Yeah. And of course, the future of the children. They're gonna compensate that. The deadly bus crash may have cost the lives and dreams of these gifted artists, but their legacies will live on, and they will continue to serve as inspiration to those who have an eye on the arts. David Santos, Solar News.